We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Um, we have another product we can discuss about. Um, <clears throat> the colostrum that you have. Right, col what's colostrum? You know, a lot of people have heard that term. It's funny, I'll sometimes ask an audience what's colostrum, and a lot of the women won't know what colostrum is. Um, interestingly, because all mammals, every mammal, the first milk that they produce after giving birth is called colostrum. And it's only produced for a very small window of time. It's only produced for a few hours. Now, the way nature has intended the birth cycle to work is that immediately after birth, the mammal goes directly to the nipple to consume as much colostrum as it can get. In fact, all mammals have this built-in sort of mechanism whereby they can absorb as much colostrum as they can get. Now, if we kept feeding you deer antler and feeding you deer antler, eventually you're going to get to the limit of what your body can use, and it's going to spill over the excess, maybe through sweat, maybe through urine, maybe through feces. In some way, it's going to eliminate the extra. Your body doesn't do that with colostrum. In fact, even as you age, it looks for it'll take as much colostrum as it can get. Um, colostrum is the first food for babies. Here's why. Baby mammals are born with a blank hard drive. Their immune system is like a blank hard drive, and the colostrum is like the formatting disk. That, tell, that, that feeds the blank hard drive all the data it needs for a lifetime of strong immunity. Um, every growth factor known, all 87 of them, are in colostrum. Every bacterial strain that the mother's ever been exposed to is in her colostrum. Antibodies to every single disease she's ever been exposed to, every disease, is in the colostrum. So the colostrum formats our bodies, gives the initial spurt of growth and regeneration, nourishes the entire intestinal tract, actually heals any perforations in the intestinal tract, refluoridates us with all of the bacteria we need, and gives us antibodies against any disease that the animal or the mammal was ever exposed to. Um, why would we need to do that? Well, one, it would be one of the supreme anti-aging formulas that ever existed. Two, because many of us weren't raised on colostrum. In fact, some of us ended up with soy formula in tap water, microwaved in a plastic bottle with a rubber nipple. That's what some of us got. Some of us never got colostrum. What happens if you don't get colostrum? You don't have an immune system. If you don't get colostrum, you don't have an immune system. I talked to a farmer recently. I like to get fresh colostrum when I can. And I talked to a farmer and asked him, how can you take colostrum? Our colostrum comes from, uh, it's bovine in nature. It comes from some grass-fed cows. I said, how can you take the colostrum from the cow? Doesn't the calf need it? And he said, well, you can't take very much. You have to give most of it to the calf. I said, what would happen if you didn't give it to the calf? He said, the calf would be antibiotic dependent for the rest of its life or it would die. That got me realizing Human beings, when they don't get colostrum at birth, have no immune system, and they end up requiring antibiotics for the rest of their life unless they go through some kind of strategy to heal the immune system. Now, a lot of us know there are things that are good for the immune system, like garlic. It's sort of an antibiotic. Um, medicinal mushrooms are one of my favorite ways. They re-educate the white blood cells. But what we also need is the formatting, the education for our, not just our, our white blood cells, but we need to be refluorinated with the bacteria that maintain our immune system. And just so we're clear, bacteria are your immune system. We need the antibodies that we were meant to have in the beginning. Without them, we become very dependent on antibiotics. So if you were not fed colostrum, if you were not breastfed, or if you've ever had antibiotics in your lifetime, it's time to reformat your immune system. So we sought out colostrum. And Matt, you had a great question earlier. You said, why are you using bovine colostrum? Why not use sheep or goat? Now that's interesting, because as somebody who does appreciate dairy, I've come to learn for myself that um, goat and sheep dairy are much more compatible for people than cow dairy. Most of us know cow dairy is very phlegmatic. It causes a lot of phlegm problems and a lot of mucus problems. However, interestingly, with colostrum, bovine colostrum really benefits human beings, whereas goat colostrum is not that effective. So the dairy of cows and, uh, are, is, is not so great for people, but the colostrum is good. Whereas with uh, dairy with goats, that's much better for people, but their colostrum doesn't do much. So it's an interesting thing. It's had me meditating a lot on why the cow's so sacred in India, right? Because
because the yogis were some of the highest spiritual beings that ever existed. Why the, why the sacred cow? Well, there's a beautiful way we can work symbiotically with cows. And I think colostrum is one of the ways that we can do that. And I think it's interesting, we live in a really unique time. We don't live in the Garden of Eden today. We live in a, in a post-industrial apocalyptic age where a lot of us are rebuilding from deep, deep stuff. And what we need are growth factors, probiotics, and antibodies. And that's what colostrum delivers. Now, colostrum is this really amazing substance. Now, this one's dried here. So what we end up with is this really nice powder, almost like a powdered milk, almost like a, like a dairy creamer kind of a substance. I use this in my drinks. I put it into my elixirs. You can use it in your smoothies, and it's a fantastic way to add this stuff into your body. A lot of people are dealing with intestinal problems, whether diverticulosis or leaking gut or... Crohn's disease or irritable bowel. These are this is damage to the intestine. Colostrum coats that and heals it very quickly. And in fact, nothing's been shown to heal leaking gut syndrome faster than colostrum does. So what we were really doing with the colostrum with the deer antler is looking at some specific issues that we saw in our community and, and looking for what is the missing puzzle piece that would cause healing there. Or what was the missing puzzle piece that could allow someone to go to the next level? And that's why we brought these products on. So I know dairy, um, a lot of people like to take it. They like to give to children and things like that, especially when they're doing this type of lifestyle because um, it has like certain components in there. Like, for example, B vitamins. Does the colostrum have components like Colostrum is actually the most complete food for mammals on earth. So there's actually not a food you will ever find that's more perfect. See, colostrum is nature's first food for mammals. Consider this, the first food that you consume out of the womb is colostrum if you're fed naturally the way you were meant to. Now, a lot of us have been through a lot of trauma. Some of us have, were cut from the womb via cesarean sections. Some of us were put in incubators. A lot of us didn't get nature's first food. But the way it's intended is that after birth, the first food you receive is colostrum, not milk. Milk doesn't come from many hours later. Um, important to understand with cows that they're only producing colostrum for about six hours. Hour seven, hour eight, hour nine, there's a transitional milk as the cow's body shifts away from colostrum production into milk production. Milk is a very different substance than colostrum. I want to emphasize colostrum and milk are not the same thing. They come from the same place, but they're not the same thing. So you want to know that the colostrum you're using is actually six hour colostrum. Now, I've seen colostrum products sold out there. I bought colostrum in the past that I now know is transitional milk. And I think most of the colostrum being sold out there is, is transitional milk. It allows people to harvest more and sell it cheaper, but it's not the real thing. All of the survival colostrum is guaranteed to be harvested within six hours, and that's critical. That's really nature's first food. So in terms of mother's milk, how long does the colostrum, I mean, is it six hours with humans, or is it just... With human beings, I think it's a slightly longer period of time, but it's less than a day. It starts being produced just before the baby's born and is produced just after the baby's born. But by the next day, the mother's transitioning into a full-on milk away from colostrum. So it really is this unique window. It kind of freaks me out a little bit when I picture babies being taken from the womb and put in incubators where they're not allowed to feed. Because by the time they're finally brought to their mothers, the mother's done producing the colostrum. One might almost go as far as to imagine this was intentional. It certainly sells a lot of antibiotics. So what we want to know is that, A, if we're pregnant or if we're going to bring a child into the world, we want to do that as naturally as possible and make sure that that child's fed colostrum. However, a lot of us just didn't get it. Or even if we did, it doesn't mean our mother was very healthy or producing very high quality product at that point. Um, some of us got some milk, some of us got soy formula, never got any milk from our mothers. So again, it comes down to how do we rebuild ourselves? You know, each one of us was born with a genetic blueprint, but that doesn't mean that all the materials were present that were needed for the blueprint. If you were building a house and I designed the blueprint, but I don't give you the right materials, and I say build the house, you're going to use what you can. You might stick Twinkies in place of bricks because you don't have the materials you need. You'll do what you can. We did what we could, and here we are today, but we have an opportunity to rebuild ourselves from the ground up. And it's things like colostrum or deer antler that allow us to deeply rebuild ourselves. Both are what the Chinese consider Jing tonics. Jing tonics feed the energy that's core energy, not like our qi, which is the energy we replenish when we sleep, but our Jing. Here's what Jing is. If you've ever seen the runt of a litter, it's 
jing that's missing from the runt. The runt didn't get enough jing, and that's why it's the runt. A lot of us. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.